not do good. It's so hard to have a committed, like, good relationship. We would just tear each other down. Pick up my shots and then they can do the rest of the scene. Not, nothing else matters. Are we gonna pull this off? Yeah, for sure. I don't think we should film it. To be honest. We shouldn't film it. What they were doing to each other was just so toxic. <laughs> Check out the episode! <laughs> Sunday! Boom! Welcome to Dick Paul Uncut. Can... I don't think something has ever been done like this on YouTube. So I need to explain a little bit to you guys why, what, where, when, who, what, how! I am begging for the next 30 minutes of your attention. Whether you like me or not, I really think that this is important for the YouTube community and culture as a whole. We need to innovate. So please set the next 30 minutes of your life aside so that you guys are able to watch Jake Paul Uncut. Let me explain what it is. In short, it is a reality show of my life, except the thing is, it's actually real. My life is crazy. Drama, stress, business, lawsuits, merchandise, this, YouTube, fame, da da da. The list YouTube, fame, on oh, and on that, and on. Right, But the problem is, is I think everyone in this world that we live in wants to act like their life is so perfect. They want to act like everything's all Gucci. Mm, but Jake Paul Uncut is the exact opposite of that. It's going to show my mistakes, my failures, the bad side, all of the questions and things that you have are finally going to be answered because this Hollywood, Dude. this Los Angeles I'm lifestyle like, what the fuck is, going on? is absolutely insane. And I think there's a lot that you guys as an audience can learn from it. I uh, want Jake man. Paul Uncut to be that authentic, real... Yeah, show me some grown-up shit, man. You always be in the fucking I, I want it to, like... Show me some fucking grown-up really, shit. Really, really connect, connect with y'all. I'm personally tired of a lot of the content on YouTube. It feels so forced. And I kind of just... Yeah, it's like, all fake. My life's crazy. Let's film it. Let's put it out there. But I want you guys to learn from it. I don't want you to just take it for an entertainment purpose. I want you to see everything that I'm going through and relate to it and maybe take some advice or take parts of it uh, into your own life to become a better person. So I'm obviously not gonna show myself in the shower and things like that. There's stuff that I can't film. There's stuff, there's details that I can't put out there to protect reputations, to protect certain things, but I'm going to literally put out as much as I legally possibly can. So to answer some of your guys' questions, I took to Twitter and I'm gonna answer them rapid fire. Here we go. How long are the episodes? Roughly 30 minutes. What are you most afraid of about this series? I think people misunderstanding why I'm doing it and my intentions behind it. Uh, I think there's already been some feedback about me like exploiting certain things like just to get views. Uh, specifically okay, the situation, see, see. The, the most recent thing that happened with Erica and us breaking up. No, right, honey, right. Uh, our relationship yeah. started on camera. Literally the whole entire thing has been on camera. I'm not exploiting anything to make money, to make views. Uh, th there's like swearing, there's cursing in this. I don't even know if this is this type of content is going to be. Yeah, right. uh, well, you keep talking. Next question. None of it I have a show of views. Right. Uh, so I can get some. This views. isn't acting. Uh, sometimes maybe when the camera is on, we will communicate more. Uh, but it's all the thoughts and things that are actually in our head, and it's not staged at all. I promise. Next question: Did Shane Dawson have any influence on this series? Yes, a lot. He made me realize that I need to open up more and be honest and real. It helped me mm. so much to grow as a person. I'm tired of like faking everything, hiding everything, pushing everything down, and um, that's what I did before, and it it ended up with me being in a weird bad place in my life and uh i'm just gonna put it out there and be more open and, and truthful and show my mistakes and things like that someone asked how often will the episodes come out i'm going to be putting out roughly one episode a week on sunday so be ready for that every week people ask did you oh, ask yeah, erica's like permission like to film her in this episode she is not filmed in this episode at all however if she was i would have asked for her permission however i still did send this episode to her to get her approval on everything in it and uh, yeah, that also applies to everybody else in the episode. So if you're one of my friends, if you know me, don't be afraid that I'm gonna like put stuff out there uh, without your permission. I'm literally asking everyone in the episodes. Thank you. Also to nip this in the butt, there's been some negative feedback about, oh Jake, you can't put everything out there. Like don't put raw content, da da da, people's lives. Uh, and then there's the other side of the spectrum, which is, Jake, put everything out there. We want to see it all. Guys, I'm not listening to either one of you. I'm doing this because I want to do this. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. If you do like it, I love you. Uh, and yeah, let's do this thing. I like Welcome to Jake Paul <laughs> on Cut. Can you start the episode, I don't episode, know how y'all are going to react to this. Here we go. Just start the episode. Four minute intro. But you did not plug your merch. Okay. <laughs> all right. Come on. Oh, it's just a minute long. Okay, I I get it. I get it. 
I get it. I mean, carry on. Hmm. Carry on. Alright, guys. <laughs> and thank you for internet and gods for letting me know. What are you doing? Are you torturing him? You're torturing him? Yes. Me. Filming him, he gets very conscious of what we're doing. Is he shy? No. Yes. Jake. What? I'm fighting with Erica. Erica's right in front of you, bro. What are you talking about? Erica Costa, bro. Okay, great. Okay, you case. with Erica, Logan with Chloe. I mean, come on, guys. I have to do that too. Nobody really knows Jake at all. I feel like I'm the only person, actually, who like knows like everything about him and nobody online ever gets to see that. Leave the road. Oh, wow. Leave the road. So, oh, she's the same singing So who are you filming this for? As Logan. Um, the truth. Are you going to show it? Jake Paul uncut. Yeah, man. It's like people don't get how like hard, how hard like Hollywood and all this stuff is and like. Correct. You don't think you just open your mouth and do it. Yeah. Or do something you got lucky. No, it's a hard work. Yeah. I'll be there, you know that song? Alright. I'll be there. Thank you. You're welcome. I woke up uh, in the morning on uh, that, that Friday, I believe it was. Um, and Eric and I had been Lambo. in a fight um, from, the, from the night before. Bro, it's just like, I can't even make it through like a singing lesson without, like, fighting. What are you guys fighting about? Stupid shit? I don't, yeah, bro, it's to the point where it's like, I don't even know. He's at a point now where he's been fucked over so many times by friends, family, you know, you know some of the stuff off camera, like, it's, that's hard to, to let go of. Could you picture being around someone after something like that happened to you? I give Erica all the credit in the world, and like she did help me out so much. But she made it just seem like she was like the only thing good in my life that I had. Which like I don't think was fair of him to do that. For the past like month or so, Erica and I's relationship has been like super rocky. Like I said, it turned into this like sp downward spiral where we were just like super super toxic for each other, and we like know everything about each other, and like we know how to hurt each other. And it's so sad that it got to that point, but it did. Mm. She's supposed to be free here trips. I'm like, she's not I'm saying that she's not even gonna come and that she doesn't even want to be here because she thinks that I don't want her to be here, but I do. But like, I don't, and I told her that, but she was like, I don't know. I need to change my mood around and get in a better mood. Oh, that's why she went to LA. So that I can actually shoot today. We're shooting for Justin Roberts' new series that he's doing called uh work in progress and i think it's like i think what we're i think we're reenacting um like a team 10 film or something that or like a team 10 reunion so i think there's gonna be actors here today that look like the old team 10 members <laughs> And Shane Dawson, like what are saying? As Shane Dawson's docu series concludes, Jake Paul teases Team Ten relaunch with new members. It's so hard to find the right people for Team Ten. Uh, you think people are amazing, and then they stab you in the back, or or they get the fame and they get the clout, and they start to get the money, and then they start to get lazy, and then they give up. Um, it just it's just hard, and it's hard to find those people who are the total package. Um, I want to join Team Ten. Gonna, I need to move into the house. Have to figure out a new business model. What up, Tepper? What up, baby? What is this? Life of Paul? Hey, I want to tell my real feelings about Jake. Not today, I Chad. wish he was my not man. Not today. <laughs> the camera's not there, Chad. Bro, you need a drug game. Bro, I don't know. Like, I'm, so, I'm just, like, so in a funk that, uh, like, I don't even know, bro. You have really low lows and you have really high highs. Yeah. Would you rather have a normal life where everything's perfect and 
whack and you go nine to five job and you never have excitement except when you go on a honeymoon or like a date or like a vacation. Every day is a vacation, bro. Yeah, I know. Every day is a vacation, bro. I know. Every day is a vacation, bro. No, I, I it's just the emotions, bro. I've never, I've never like, I've never had like emotions or like feelings, bro. Like real feelings. <laughs> Every day is a vacation, bro. <laughs> For someone, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So I don't know how the fuck to handle it. Low key, I was talking to Sarah about it. Oh, Juju said that to me too. You should not text him until she texts him back. Because I did that shit with Sarah once, bro. Where I was like, oh, you're talking to her, trying to get her back. Yeah. Well, we're just, we're just, we're just in a, we're just in like a text like battle. What people don't realize, like, the lifestyles we live, like, my life is nowhere near Jake's lifestyle, but it's very similar in a lot of ways. And when you're in that lifestyle, it's so hard to have a committed, like, good relationship. So many people have left him and fucked with him and took from him and took and took and... Some of his best friends. I'm your best friend, Jake. I love you to the moon. Oh, 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 the world isn't like you right now, Jake. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I have to leave and make money and try to be famous. It's like, no, bro. It's like, what people don't realize is, like, Team Ten's a family. Yeah, we make money together. Yeah, we make content. Yeah, we do this. But at the end of the day, we're family. You don't want, you don't want, you want to fuck over your family, would you? No. I guess some people would, you know? But back to working out, man. That's what time you wake up to go train. I need to wake my ass up once I get my new weapon. Boy, you guys are going to like this shit. This shit's certified. There's the There's the Wait, is that the building? Oh, my. These <laughs> big progress from day one. And the funny thing everybody doesn't realize is that when I got here, he left to go on tour. So we have, like, maybe two or three weeks to work before he left on tour, or even less than that. Then he went on tour for a month. When he came back, he was almost better than when he left. So his progress is tremendously, he's skyrocketing. I mean, he's relaxed, he's comfortable. Today, he's starting to get harder. He's starting to realize what he's doing. And for him, I mean, boxing could be a future if he wants to take it to the next level. Take it to the next level. Our love. relationship is just like so, so complicated because of the business and the personal side. And she used to be my assistant, and and we all have our insecurities, and I have I have like trust issues, and we got to a point in our relationship where we would just tear each other down and tear each other down, and we went into this downward spiral that we couldn't control. First off, I want to say I truly believe that they both really loved each other. Maybe it wasn't in the most mature way, or was it maybe the truest relationship, but I do really believe that they cared about each other. I know Jake's going to grow from this, 100%. I've, I've seen it already, um, but he's really hurt, and that hurts me really bad. I don't, he's been hurt enough. For the past, like, month or so, Eric and I's relationship has been, like, super Aww. rocky. Mom was She's like, broken oh, up with baby. me, like, five times, and, like, I would, like, threaten to break up with her, and she would break up with me and ignore me for three days, and then I would, like, come back to her, she would come back to me, and, like, it was just turning, it, like I said, it turned into this, like, downward spiral where we were just like super super toxic for each other and we like know everything about each other and like we know how to hurt each other and it's so sad that it got to that point but it did i just like bro i just feel so trapped because yeah because if it ends and like i and like the shame thing they just came out which basically is the only thing that people get from it is that Eric is the best thing from him. Which, like, she was great, and she is great, and she's an amazing girl, but it just, like, but that's we just, we're just toxic to each other. It's not her fault. It's not my fault. It's just, like, we just fucking, like, beat each other up all the time and, like, just... So why can't you guys be, be like, very mature about it? Why can't you talk to her, like, the same way you're talking to me right now? And then... I mean, I, 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 I woke up late, like I was like 30 minutes until shooting, so I didn't really like 
know like what happened like earlier in the day but i could definitely tell that jake was on edge because he's just always like 15 more minutes in those like when he's on edge like you know he's on edge because every little thing like triggers him i try to but she just like she freaks out and just like fuck you so that's what you're scared about it's yeah, and her just being like, fuck you, like, I knew that, thing, like, yeah, we're just, like, in this, like, cycle of, of shit, and, like, I think if we break up and, like, maybe go a month or so, like, figuring that shit out, then, like, there could be hope, but I just knew deep down that it would be better for both of us to just, to move forward without each other as boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm not breaking up with her because I want to. I'm breaking up with her because that's what we both need to be better people. Like, we love each other, like, almost too much. To the point where, like, she says one thing and it, like, throws me off for the whole day. Or if I say one thing, it, it like, messes her up for the whole day. I was like overreacting because like I said, like I hadn't been through this. I had, I still haven't felt this much emotion. Like before I met Erica, I hadn't cried in like four years. And like, luckily Anthony was there to like talk some sense into me and like tell me that I overreacted because like, I was just like losing it. No, I mean, when you, when you, when you can't over whatever happened. Oh, you're Kane. Oh, you're Kane. You're Nathan? No, it's Justin. <laughs> oh wait, you're Justin? No. Yeah. Oh, that's not a joke. Wait, why are you, why are you? Because I'm playing you. Oh, because you're playing me, so he needs to play you. <laughs> and you're obviously Nick Crompton. Obviously. Oh, Chance? Yeah. Uh, you're a Martinez twin, Tessa, Martinez twin, Dobrit brothers. Yo, Derek. Yes. Real fast. What's the, where, is America's not coming or what? Erica is, is coming. She is. Um, uh, trust me, it all makes sense. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. coming and she'll be here. Um, we're filming scene eight right now. Okay. And then scene 10, which don't require Erica. Okay. And then when she gets here, we're going back to the start and coming all the way through. Okay. Awesome. Any other? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, sure. yeah. Cool, cool. We make Erica a star and now she's he sees is red. Like he like blacks out, you know what I'm saying? And like he was like that on set, like he was getting annoyed with like certain shots. Like he was like, I got this, I got this, y'all. Alright, you're gonna shoot the scene, you have a wide, yeah? You already have, you guys should already have wides of this, yeah? And like the and like the tight? Or do you guys have that? Yeah, I've got, okay. I've got the tight. So then all we need to do is pick up this shot. Exactly. We're gonna move them here for this. Cheap. And you're gonna shoot over their shoulder and you're just gonna pick up my shots and then they can do the rest of the scene. Yeah. Nothing else matters. So you just have one shot. Here, I'll just grab the camera too. Here, come on. So just get this. I'm gonna do my sociopath face and then I'll do my psychopath face. And nothing else matters. All right, ready? All right, so just action on my sociopath face. Here, well, I just hope these Team 10 look alike don't make any videos about us when they leave. <laughs> hey, I was a Team 10 look alike. Jake Paul's an asshole. <laughs> You guys aren't gonna make any videos about. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> With a knife book. <laughs> hey, you guys aren't gonna make any videos about your experiences here, right? Oh. <laughs> Jay, you're funny as fuck. Yo. Okay. Fuck. Every six years. Yeah, bro, I don't know if I can. Oh, he's nervous to go on CT and see him. I don't know what the fuck to act right now. Like. Oh, he got anxiety. His anxiety is kicking oh, in. God, I, I think like I should just be really fucking nice. Yeah. Because I just fucking love her and like I don't want to deal with yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely really nice. And the issue is that yeah. you don't know... You don't know 100% in your head yet which way like, where you're leaning to. I feel like we have to, bro. No. We should have done it. So no filming. We had a talk about booking that it was both of us. My heart instantly shattered. Like I. 
like it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. I don't know, like every they're, they're, like what they were doing to each other was just so toxic and like it's like better for both of them right now. I feel like our relationship just it's too toxic. It got too toxic. Too toxic. Too toxic. I go through all of that shit, like, we break up, we get into a huge fight, like, and then I'm, like, supposed to act and, like, go back on the set and, like, just go about my day and, like, be on camera, and, like, that's, like, so hard for me, and it's, like, almost emotionally scarring, and, like, but at the same time, like, you, like... You asked for this, bro, you wanted to be a celebrity, bro. Like, I just want to make everyone happy sometimes, and I feel like that's my downfall, because it's, like, they had, Justin had this, like, whole big production, and, like... I couldn't have just been like, yo, Justin, I can't do this right now. Like, I wanted to just, like, make him happy. And I feel like that ends up taking a toll on me, but. Yo. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? I'm, I'm, good. Good. I'm yeah, so I'm hungry. Good. I'm just um, dealing with shit with Erica. Um, but. So, listen. Look, I'm the fucking master of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you you let me know if you ever want to get some insight, whatever you need to do. There are ways, there are solutions, but I'm here for you to yeah. worry like I'm anything. So always spill that shit. I mean, I've been through obviously one terrible marriage and one amazing marriage. So so I'm, I'm, I can get that shit together. Therapy's always a win. There's always ways to get out of it. But yeah. Um, in the meantime, just let me know if you ever need anything. All right, I will for sure. I'm um, that shit. So this thing tomorrow night for this girl in Victorville. Are we gonna pull this off? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we have to. So she, how far of a drive? It's like an hour and a half drive, right? It's, yeah, it's like an hour and twenty five minutes. I did it from your house. I'll send you the. You can go and just, just click on that address. Okay. But, um, but so, and here's, and again, this could be whatever you want it to be, but here, this would be great because it, uh, you know, again, this was the one thing she, she is, she genuinely feels like you saved her life. And I'm sure she, you know, I'm sure that she did. Like she had, that's all she had going through chemo. So she had cancer. Gonna, yeah. And she went through chemo and she was watching my videos and stuff. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. See, that's why you do it, because you make other people happy. That's why. The reality is that there are people out there that genuinely needed your voice to survive. Mm -hmm. She's turning 16. Got it, okay. She, she couldn't afford the dress, so, um, so what's that? The, um, the Univision, and they, they got together with this dress designer and they, they donated this girl's dress and wow. the thing was like she was super she was super grateful for it but the fact is like she just kept saying like the only thing that she ever wanted to do was meet you right so okay so we go down that road a little bit so she has no fucking clue none whatsoever that i'm gonna show up yes oh, wow that's dope it's just crazy for me to think that like all the things that people say she said about you in that doc that other people think of you to think that like the videos that you're making, this girl was just watching these videos in her bed, like sick, you know what I mean? Like, and just to think that like you doing all this stuff, as bad as it seems to everybody else, was like enough for her. That's tripping me. Yeah, and it, and it saved, and it saved her. It, in her own words, it saved her. But that's why I do it, man. That's why, like, that's why i that's make videos it, so that's people why. can just relate or like smile or laugh for one second or just not think about life you know life's hard bro so that's why i do it <sighs> yeah i can tell i can tell when jake's like really stressed out with business and and specifically today i, I knew for a fact that he was stressed out so i was like yo like what's going on today like why are you so stressed out like what's going on the our R and B O like back end, the people who we're partners with, they're fucking slacking, and so I need to um, I need to just figure find someone else.